Hello, my name is Atina and I'm representing the IVC Box team. IVC Box is a real-time video chat for immediate support. Do you know any company that is satisfied with their revenue by the end of the month? Probably no. If you own a company, you always know that you can do better. You can sell more next month, you can reach out to more customers. Let's see how the companies are doing it today. So let's assume some insurance company. The visitor goes on their website, has a couple of questions, uh, wants to ask them, and they search for live chats, if any. Then they go and send an email, then they call, then Skype, and then they finally make the decision. So there are too many steps on this chain. Uh, you may lose the customer on this way. They can reconsider the purchase or just go to a competitor. Uh, this is a ridiculous um, example of how some websites are trying to solve this problem and trying to communicate with their customers. I'd like to introduce you to the IVC Box widget that can solve these issues. IVC Box is a merge of all the channels of communication on the website into one widget. It's like a FaceTime for the website. Uh, the customer no longer needs to search for contact info, they just reach you directly in one click. IVC Box is combined from features such as video call, live chat, file sharing, and website analytics. How was IVC Box created? Back in 2015, we launched a callback widget called Smart Call. Smart Call allows a visitor of the website to leave their phone number on the main page and get a call back in 15 seconds. So currently there are more than 800 companies that are using Smart Call. And few of our clients have requested to make improvements in the widget to bring them closer to the customers, which we did. We added a video call. After researching the market, we realized the actual need for such tool. And with all this in mind, we created another widget and called it IVC Box. There are few companies today that are using IVC Box. First is a commercial bank in Kazakhstan that is using it for their online banking for verification of their clients online. Another one is the National Chamber of Entrepreneurs that are using it for um, consulting. Another one is a National Postal Service. They are using it for their digital office where no humans are involved. And there are also a few travel agencies and an HR company. So in the first quarter of this year, we earned $140,000 in revenue. Let's go through the milestones, and um, I want to uh, sum up some points. So we started with Smart Call, then IDC Box came out. Starting from March this year till the end of the year, we have signed contracts for the total amount of $280,000. So how does IVC Box work? It's a widget that's built on WebRTC. It gets integrated with the website. The manager of the website logs into our system to manage the incoming calls and chats that are coming to their website. It's easy to install, it takes only seven minutes and no additional software is required. The manager can also resurrect a chat or a call to another department or agent. <clears throat> so there are some um, upcoming features that are to be added to the box. And the soonest one is file transfer. The next one is video conference uh, and file sh um, screen sharing possibilities. We are planning to build a customer management and communication system that's based around IVC Box to keep all the client's data in one place. Uh, we're also planning to develop an iOS and Android application for managers to be able to uh, manage the calls when they're away from their laptops. And last but not least is biometry for um, certain uh, clients such as banking, it will be very useful. So speaking of industries, there are specific industries where such tools are necessary. The industries where uh, the customer acquisition cost is high, where the customer is valuable, uh, where face-to-face -face personal interaction is crucial to build trust and loyalty. The industries such as banking, insurance, human resources, utility maintenance, healthcare, and so on. So why IVC Box? Because it's immediate. Our goal is to integrate all channels of communication on the website into one tool to drive sales for our clients, to deliver high quality customer service, and to turn the visitors of the website into real customers. So currently we are planning on growing globally and expanding our products. So that's why we're seeking investment and uh, mentoring opportunities. Now we will show you a little demo how it works. So you see this icon on the left bottom corner, right bottom corner, sorry. You click on it, so you see, <clears throat> you see the uh, options, there's chat, there's video and email, we're clicking on video. 
and we're initiating the connection. So now we're getting connected with our office in Kazakhstan. Hello. How are you? Hey, uh, say um, hello, Startup Avalanche. <laughs> invite um, my colleagues to the stage and we'll be happy to answer the questions. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I invest in a company that's uh, voice over IP and I see a lot of technology here. Uh, my question it is, you know, you are still at the beginning, how much funding do you need? And uh, some technology that you already mentioned, WebRCT are not very mature, the quality I don't think so is there yet. How do you navigate until the quality will, will be there? And how you implement so much technology that you need for chat, for video, for voice, while there are so many other solutions that are, can do silos? Do you use your own or are you going to use integration with others? Uh, we are using our own technology, uh, but uh, the opportunity mm -hmm. to make a video call via uh, web browser, it's um, web RTC technology. And the last question, do you know your customer acquisition cost? Um, yeah, for example, we in, in uh, this May, in May we started like just to have an ex experiment. We uh, settled the adverts and uh, but for the budget of 700, just to see how many users will come to the site, how many of them are interested in this product. And we got about 4,000 views and 400 registration. But uh, actually our widget was not ready for the install, the dashboard was not so user friendly. And um, only one site from USA uh, installed it on their website. It was a HR company. So we see if we have 4,000 uh, clients and at least 1% uh, uh, will uh, like install the product. So we, it means that 40 uh, clients, we will have 40 clients. And our uh, price, we assume it's about 20 USD per month. So we can cover like our customer in one month. So it's about $20 for one lead for now. Okay. Hi, I've seen that uh, you are mainly focused on the company side, uh, banks, insurance, and so on. Uh, how long takes an implementation for a company? Uh, and also another question, how do you monetize uh, your, your business? And the third one, uh, about competition. There are a lot of other solutions in the market, uh, chatbots, uh, trained to, to come with uh, uh, good answer to the complicated questions. So how you manage to compete with them? First of all, let me answer about the uh, monetization. So actually, the, we see the two ways. So the first way we did is uh, the solutions for the companies. We sold it for the banks, as we said, post office. So actually, the pricing was negotiable. And, uh, and the implementation time? Uh, and let me finish, and please. And, uh, Second part, we, as we want to go global, like we said that we want to have a uh, like subscription fee per month. And I think I'd like to continue with all. Uh, implementation depends on the uh, requirements. Uh, for example, if company needs only just the uh, features that we have, uh, we can do it for about one week. So it's not, it's not so hard. We, um, and other companies can do it, uh, like uh, installing the script, like a simple live chat. So, yeah, but uh, mainly for uh, these types of companies, like banks, uh, insurance companies, usually they have special requests. Uh, I mean, uh, once uh, some questions appearing, you need also to authenticate the, the customer. So usually, I think that it's not an Standard solution. That's why I'm asking how. how they uh, for example, uh, postal, Cas Post, uh, we spent uh, about one and a half months. Uh, it's because uh, for 
uh, we should adapt our widget uh, for for every browser. Uh, for uh, for example, uh, Cas Postal used uh, Internet Explorer, uh, like uh, um, banks in Kazakhstan. Uh, so uh, we had only a Chrome version and Safari. And now, if a company uh, will ask us to do the same, uh, we will do it for three five days. It's enough. <coughs> All right. So you also uh, mentioned that there are so many other live chats on the market and chatbots. Uh, according to Forbes, actually, 83% of uh, online shoppers, they don't prefer chatbots. They want to talk to a real person. And um, uh, I agree that there are many other options, but WebRTC came out only one year ago. And these chats have been um, existing for quite some time so it will take it will be challenging for them to change the entire infrastructure and to and we build it from the scratch from the beginning and we base it on the RTC. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.